Peace, peace, peace. This is your international sales and marketing villain, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You rock it with the best. You heard? The marathon continues, ladies and gentlemen. So, wanted to put you guys up, uh, touch bases with you guys today. This Sunday, it is snowing in spring in Chicago. WTF. It is snowing in Chicago in spring, man. Chicago never fails, man. Every spring, there's like a, a mini blizzard. A mini damn blizzard. But anyway, we, we still got to get this paper and this cake. So I went into Starbucks today, um, and this young leader stopped me after getting the quad espresso, and she said, Hey, are you a Tiger Toledo? I've seen your videos on Facebook before. Of course, I'm honored. And shout out to Ina Jones. Ina Jones is a fabulous young leader. She opened my eyes to some huge things, man. Some, some huge opportunities. And I wanted to share a little bit about our conversation, which I will be having her on the show double up. If you guys haven't seen my post i will be conducting a show a new podcast show called double up in the honor of my man nipsey uh the marathon continues i am going to interview modern day movers and shakers in this era with business skills sales skills and marketing skills so you guys can apply these real world skills by successful entrepreneurs into your business so your business can succeed also. See, one of the things that I have noticed is that there is a gap that ha that it happens to every generation. Um, there's a gap of information that does not uh, bridge. And a lot of the millennials, Gen Z, uh, Gen X, baby boomers, we're left out here to figure it out for ourselves. And a lot of times we get lost in the sauce, right? So shout out to you, Bridget. Um, so I asked this young leader, I said, Ina, what would you suggest as a business acumen, a rule, a rule of thumb to business young millennials and Gen Z and Gen X, what kind of business acumen would you suggest to them? She said, think globally. And I said, wow. Real talk. I, I was I was caught off guard with that. She said, think globally. I remember when I first started in in business, that that's a that's a that's a concept you really have to wrap your mind around. When I was in the hood, when I was on the block, I couldn't think past my block. And then if I did think past my block, I couldn't think past my borough. And then think locally, then nationally, then regionally. But she said straight out the gate, think globally. And when I wrap my mind around that, it makes sense for today's climate. Because if you think in a global fashion, it causes, it forces your mind. If it really, really forces your mind to look at various aspects of how can you service more and more people with your products and services. So shout out to Ina Jones on that. I'm glad to say that I am going to be having her on the show for a double up. But are you young entrepreneurs, young moguls out there, are you thinking globally for your business? Or are you thinking locally, regionally, nationally? Are you thinking globally? Ask yourself, I'm asking you that. Are you thinking globally in your business model for your business to advance? I want to know that. I want to know, are you really looking at a global approach for your business? Uber is a globally a global business. Starbucks is a global business. 
Dunkin' Donuts, McDonald's, those are global businesses. Are you approaching your business on a global level? What does that look like for your business model? I just want to pose that question for you. I'm not going to give any answers. I'm not going to give uh, any suggestions. I just want to get the mind racing, the mind thinking in the thought process of I am building a global company. And what does that look like? What, what approaches do I have to have? Am I going to reach people digitally with digital products or physical products? And if it's physical products, how am I going to get it into their hands? Are you thinking on a global level for your business? Enough of the small shit. The small shit is done, ladies and gentlemen. This is the 21st century. We can't be thinking like that anymore. Those old metaphors, those old sayings that we used to, you know, live by, die by, those old codes and shit, those codes are outdated. It's been restructured. It's been re-engineered. Let's take our gift, our intelligence, our know-how, our strengths, our, our desire to win, let's impact this world on a global level. I believe you can do it. Do you? Peace, love, and happiness and prosperity to you and your family. If you have not checked out VectorSalesAcademy.com, go check that out. The new show, Re-Up, is coming up. I'm sorry, Double Up is coming out. Uh, have some great guests, Andre C. Hatchett, entrepreneur, author, disruptor. He's going to be on the show. Uh, Savante, uh, Floyd Nix, uh, youth mentor, celebrity curator. He's going to be on there. Um, Donnie Bryant, world-class copywriter. He's going to be on there. Uh, Jason McCoy, he is a celebrity photographer. He's he shot pictures for my favorite celebrity, uh, Chris Gardner from Pursuit of Happiness. He's going to be on the show. Lorana Vant, he's going to be on the show. He's a food curator. Um, happy anniversary to you, you and your business on that one. He's going to be on the show. Ina Jones. These are people that if you thought there ain't no movers and shakers out here making it happen in the world, I'm going to bring them to you. If you can't find them, I'm going to bring them to you. And you're going to learn the basics and advanced levels on how to market, sell, and brand your business. Because we got to do this, goddammit. You heard? Think globally. Thank you, Lorenzo. You heard?